I made $18,500 a year working at Mount Sinai Hospital. And thank the Lord that my godmother, Emma, I thank her every day, got me that job. The day I got Tom, hired a Tommy boy, I made $202,000 for you. You went from 18.5 to 202. To 202. You tell me God ain't good. And it, it, it you used to work. Me, it's work. But you put in the work. And you believed in you. It and you understood. If I keep grinding, if I keep moving forward, persistence always co- overcomes resistance. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And, and, and you know something? There were many times on that bus that I was fucking crying. I would be going home crying like, yo, man, when's this shit going to stop? You know, when's somebody going to call me? And, and sometimes even what, what I'm doing now with this Instagram Live series, I got to think about that. I'm like, yo, when is my number going to get called? Yo, man, fuck that, man. Keep keep mashing. So now I go into Tommy Boy Records, and now I'm doing my thing, right? So now I got an official flag. Now I got a flag now. So now when I'm calling people, I ain't calling motherfuckers as an intern from Tommy, I, I, from chemistry. I'm calling them from a fucking real seat. So now I'm doing my thing, I'm doing my thing. And Monica Lynch and Tom Silverman, who again, no Monica Lynch, no Tom Silverman, no fat man school. They realize, you know, I'm, I got an infectious personality. I'm in there making motherfuckers laugh. I got my own lingo, I'm doing my own shit. They like, yo man, take this fucking guy and put him on the back of the sauce. Again, I can't explain it, it's ball alert. World star. It's shade room. It's shade room. Having your record streamed a million times on Spotify. Bill, and no, no, let's even say 600 million times. There you go. So, <laughs> so that's what that's what being on the back of the store. And I'm going to tell you something. Because I remember, because I was young and I was coming up in the game. And I remember seeing you on the back of the store. Because that that's, you got a very unique look. That's I wasn't the, a fucking artist. I wasn't an artist. It took it took your stock from from people knowing your name in the industry to now we see the face. This guy is a is a, is a, is a bona fide star. Just being on the back of the source at that time. Yeah, yeah definitely, absolutely. Definitely. I mean, you you really did change the culture of. I remember D Dot. For anybody who doesn't know, Derek Angeletti, the mad rapper. And I was talking to him one day and he was like, you, you know, he would always, and I got to give it to him because guys like him, you know, it, it would be no prayers with, with, without those guys. And, you know, he was telling me, prayers, you're doing your thing. And every time he would talk to me, he would be like, prayers, what up? And I'd be like, yo, I'm good. I'm quiet. And he pulled me to the side one day and he said, don't ever say that again. He was like, don't be quiet, be a riot. That was his exact words. How mm-hmm. can you promote an artist, if you're not willing to promote yourself. Mm -hmm. And I had never, you know, me being a promo person like yourself, you set the bar. There had never been a celebrity promo person that I know of. There there were people with big names in the industry, but you were a bona fide celebrity as a promo person. So every every programmer was taking your call. They were just taking the fucking call, man. And Tom Silverman and Monica Lynch had so much, they had so much fucking uh, 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 foresight with that. And I just went from, you know, fat man scoopers, or the fat man scoopers on the fucking line. And, you know, God bless the dead, DJ Law in fucking, in fucking uh, Norfolk, Virginia, or yep. DBS, or in, in Raleigh, North Carolina, or or, you know, a big boy and fuzzy in L.A. or whoever I was calling, the motherfucker from the source is on the phone. There you go. Get at him. So, yeah, because you were like the official, the unofficial mascot of Tommy Boy Records at that time. So, 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 so now here's the next part. Now you, you, you saw it. So now they got to be valleys now. So now it starts off as a joke. 
oh, that motherfucker's the mascot of Tommy Boy. He's a clown, this, that. You guys go ahead and laugh. I'm going to get on the back of this fucking magazine. And I did the fucking thing with the, um, where I was playing basketball. Then I did one where I was playing golf. And then I did one where I was just on the back of the thing. I I think I did four of them. And they laughed. And then the laugh became hate. See, because now you're fucking killing. Whoo, now first you were laughing at me. But now you understand that I'm the immovable object in this motherfucker. Then you start realizing that I'm going into meetings and they say, hey, Scoop, what do you think? Now, you motherfuckers that laughed at me, y'all are, y'all are the unknown names in, the, in here. So now it's hate. There you go. Okay? Now, with hate comes people's bullshit. So something that happened that took place, I almost got fired because somebody kind of said something. I, I, I was out on the road with, with Tretch from Naughty by Nature. I was out on the road with Naughty by Nature. And I, something had happened. We were in Houston. And Naughty by Nature, they didn't give a fuck about Tommy Boy. They, they were angry as fuck. And they were just going off. And I happened to be in the room. And he said, Scoop, ain't that right? I said, yeah, that is right, man. Boom, 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 boom. So somebody there took it and ran with it. And it got to the attention of Tom Silverman, who was the head of owner of Tom. So he came, in, he, you know, I came into the office. I came back from Houston and motherfuckers was looking at me like I was a ghost. I said, oh <laughs> shit, man, this is, this, this, this is crazy. So I go in my room and I'm, my man is in there. Um, my man, Brian, who used to do publicity, I shared the room with him. And I was like, yo, man, what the fuck is going on? He's like, yo, man. These motherfuckers was blah, 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 stirring up some shit, and that got to Tom Silver. So he's going to fire you today. So my heart dropped because, you know, I, I think I'm the fucking man over here. Humbling moment. I call up Tresh. Back then, it's the Motorola flip phones, and because I, I had Tresh's number. Nobody, Tommy Boy had Tresh's number because he didn't fuck with nobody. Tresh was the nigga who was throwing... Rats and all like he was, you know, back then he was terrorizing the label, throwing rats in there, like you smacking motherfuckers up, all kinds of shit, smacking up employees, all kinds of shit. I called Tretch and I'm like, yo, yo, uh, yo, um, old boy, because you know, they call him, anybody who knows Tretch call him old boy. I say, yo, old boy, listen, man, it's been real working with you, my nigga. I love you. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity because you, yo, man, y'all took me to places I probably never would go. So, I love you, man. I appreciate working with you. And I'm gonna take this Tommy Boy shit and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember this shit for the rest of my life. He said, What? I said, he said, what the fuck you talking about? I said, yo, man, because I agree with y'all in Houston, they gonna fire me. He said, sit in your seat, don't move. Give me five minutes. So we used to have before email, there used to be a thing in everybody's Tommy Boy was light years ahead of everybody with technology and everything. There used to be a thing in, on everybody's desk, and it was like you, you could talk to people amongst the office. So it would be like, you, if I want to talk to Sean Perez, you were SP. So I would just type in SP. It was before email. This yep. was like some other shit. It was like you could type in some shit and hit it to SP, and it'd be like, yo, man, come over to my office and holler at me. So nobody had to walk back and forth. And this was on three or four floors with an amazing system. And it's like, so I got a thing from TS, which was Tom Silverman. Bing! TS, come to my office now. I said, okay, this is it, man. I'm gone. I get to the office, and Tom Silverman says to me, he's like, listen, man, I just got a rare call from Tretch. He said, if we fire you, he's going to bring all of downtown Newark down here to fuck everybody in this office up and throw rats and do crazy shit. <laughs> he said, I don't get calls. Tretch never calls here. For him to call this office and with that threat, obviously they love you. So here's the deal. You're now in charge of Tommy Boy Record. I mean, you're, you're now in charge of Naughty by Nature. If we need anything from Naughty by Nature, we call you. 
If we need to negotiate something with them, you go and negotiate. If we need to do X, Y, we need Tretch to go MTV Music Awards, you go get them, you take them, you bring them back. No one at this label will deal with Tretch other than you. Here's a bonus. And wrote me a check. Excuse me? Here's a bonus, bro. You went from getting fired. To a bonus. To a bonus in the same day. At the same time. How much was I the check? I walked in the door much? thinking I was going to get fired. He how, said. How much was the check? Huh, I, good. Six figures. Excuse me? Yeah, it was, good. it was a good check. Good check. So, so it went from, but you got to remember back then, it was only sales of CDs and vinyl. Motherfuckers were making money hand over no, foot. I, 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 understand, to give I understand, but again, it, it, it just, it just overemphasizes some of the key things I want to pull from your story. Number one, yeah. trust the process. You got to trust that, the process. You Prez, you, that's, I, I don't mean to cut you off, Prez, but, but that's why if Naughty asked me to do anything, I'm always there for Naughty. If, if old boy asked me to come do something, other than gunning nigga down, I'm there. What, what, oh boy, where you need to trust? Where you need me to be, bro? What, what do I need to do? End of story. I, there's, no, there's no conversation. There's no discussion. No nothing. You ask him about that, he'll tell you. He called him. But look, look. He goes. He leave this. You, he leave this label. I'm bringing 300 niggas from L Town down here. We throwing rats and we fucking everybody up down. <laughs> I went back to my room floored. I was floored. I, I didn't, he said, yo, he said, Trench doesn't call up here. He doesn't speak to us. If we have to speak to him, we speak to him through Shaquem or Latifah. For him to call here and say that and then hang up, from now on, the, the Naughty by Nature account is all you. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.